Another realm of prenatal effects, learning. Okay, this sounds ludicrous right off the bat that you can have learning prenatally. You have learning prenatally. You can show this first in rats. Here's what you do. You take a rat fetus and you can inject into it uh, a particular flavor of water along with sucrose. And the fetus absorbs it. The fetus actually drinks amniotic fluid, which I find to be deeply creepy. But nonetheless, <laughs> you inject this stuff in there, and you were doing this a number of days running, and this fetus is now drinking this flavor that has a lot of sucrose in it. It tastes good. It tastes good. You're a fetus. What do you mean it tastes good? The fetus learns about it, because after birth, given a choice between two neutral flavors, it will prefer the flavor it was exposed to that it was drinking when it was a fetus. How weird is that? More ones. More ones. Okay, that was good grammar. More ones. Here's one from humans. And this was a study which is as strange as you can get, looking at the fact that the diaphragm is a very good resonating membrane, something or other, mother's voices are heard in the fetal sac quite readily. And if I don't know how they got the fiber optic camera in there, I have no idea how they got the microphones in there for recording that, but it is a very resonant chamber, the diaphragm and the amniotic fluid. Fetuses hear a lot of what's going on out there, most notably mom's voice. So this was a study, a totally inspired one, and what you had was in this one, Pregnant women spent their last trimester loudly reading either the cat and the hat over and over, like four times a day or something, until they went mad, absolutely mad, and that's before the kid was even born, or reading some random collection of sentences that controlled for word length, that controlled for rhythmicity, all of that. Then you get the newborn sometime later, and you give them a test of which they prefer to listen to. How do you do that with a newborn? Something you can do is when newborns like something, they make more sucking motions with their mouth. So you've got a suckometer thing in there measuring it, and the newborns prefer hearing the cat and the hat. They learned it. Not a huge effect, but nonetheless, what is up with that? Of course, a follow-up question that maybe half the people in here would be wondering is, well, what about the fathers? And they had the study with the fathers reading Cat in the Hat and, you know, like a megaphone on mom's belly and reading, and doesn't work, doesn't resonate enough that side, sounds from the mother. Okay, so what we see here is this whole world of stuff going on before behavior geneticists show up and say environment has just started. All these prenatal effects of hormones, nutrition, sensory stimulation, amazing, in some cases, multi-generational. Yeah. 